Ah, there is nothing more magical than seeing the sun go down on the dusky horizon. But where did the sunny go? <laughs> it's not the sun that goes anywhere during the dawn and sunset, but it's us who move, little kitty. But kitty is standing still. Yes, little kitty. It may appear like that, and although we might not feel it, our planet is continuously rotating and revolving on its axis. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us debunk the mystery behind our beloved sun's hiding spot by learning about our Earth's rotational and revolution movements. Zoom in! So, what are Earth's rotation and revolution? Well, here is a gorgeous illustration of our planet Earth. Now, imagine a line passing through its center of mass. This imaginary line is called the axis. And our planet spins around on this invisible line just like a top. And the circular movement of an object spinning around its axis is called the rotation. Yes, my dear friends, and due to this rotational quality of our planet Earth, we witness day and night. And how is that? Well, it is because different parts of the planet are facing towards the sun or away from it. Yes, my dear friends, when you are located on the side where you can see the sun and its light and heat can reach you, it's daytime. And when the earth spins to take you away from the sight of the sun, where its light and heat can't reach you anymore, it's night time. And it takes 24 hours for the earth to turn all the way round to make a single day. I know you guys must be thinking that if the rotation of the earth makes a day, then what makes a year? And the answer to this question is the revolution. Let me explain. You see, although the earth is rotating on its axis, at the same time, it also revolves on orbits around the sun which is called revolution. And one full orbit all the way around the sun is one revolution. And the Earth takes 365 days or precisely 365.242 days to complete a revolution that makes up a whole year. But don't get confused with the similarities of the words rotation and revolution, my dear friends. In astronomy, the word rotation is used to mean the movement around the axis, which creates the day and night on Earth, while revolution is used when one body moves around another that makes a year, in the case of our planet Earth. But here is a twist. And that twist is in the axis, as the Earth is not sitting with a straight posture, but its axis is actually a little tilted. Yes, ions ago, when an object the size of Mars crashed into the newly formed planet Earth, it knocked our planet over and left it tilted at an angle. And this slight tilt made one part of the Earth lean towards the Sun while the other part of it is leaning away. And there is a great significance to this tilt, my dear friends. Yes, due to this angle, the solar energy reaching different parts of our planet is not constant but varies during the year. As at a particular time, the northern hemisphere is leaning towards the sun while the southern is leaning away. And at other times, the southern hemisphere tilts towards the sun, whereas the northern hemisphere leans away. And this is why we have different seasons and why the seasons are opposite in the northern and southern hemispheres. 
Yes, the part of the earth leaning towards the sun causes summer in that region. And the days are long while the part leaning away experiences cold climate with shorter days. So, here we go friends. Now you know the difference between Earth's rotation and revolution and why they are essential to make your world go round and round. Trivia time! Did you know the angle made by the axis of the Earth which is an imaginary line with the orbital plane is 66 degrees? Also, it is said that humans have made a moderate change in the Earth's rotation period by several microseconds by accumulating vast reservoirs with trillions of tons of water. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind.